Hello. Uh, yeah, I haven't done one of these for a while. Uh, just been busy recording and doing things and planning for next year. Um, if you don't know me, of course, my name is Chris Halpin and I am mostly known as Winter of 82 and I'm mostly known for playing the magical, mysterious Mimu Gloves. And playing the Mimu Gloves has given me an incredible adventure. Um, I think most people who know me will know that my first love really is the electric guitar. And today I want to talk about guitars. And I want to talk about one guitar in particular. I know, right? Eek! Right, so there's this thing which I um, cobbled together recently. Um, yeah, this was just a really kooky idea. Of, like, what if a guitar had, no, 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 these features. Um, and I shared some pictures on Twitter and Instagram of this guitar a few days ago. and. The brilliant uh, iHeart Guitar blog and uh, the guys at Seymour Duncan shared those pictures, and the reaction was pretty incredible. Um, like thousands of likes and hundreds of comments, most of which were really positive ones of like, wow, I never thought of that, that would be an amazing guitar. Perfectly understandable, of course, were the comments of people who were like, what have you done? Kill it with fire, which yeah, I get it. It's it's definitely weird. So it started life as a classic vibe Squire Telecaster. Um, I've got to say that the Squire classic vibe stuff is really amazing for the money. Um, if you're in the market for a classic Telecaster on a bit of a budget, then what this guitar was is just incredible. Um, Classic Telecaster wasn't really going to suit me, so it's kind of how we got here. But they're really, really good. Really recommend them. I personally feel they're better than, say, like a Mexican Fender. The quality is incredible. Um, so anyway, the only thing that's left of that now is this body with this really cool finish. Um, so, of course, all the original hardware's gone. It's just black everything. Um, black neck plate. Um, Goto machine heads. Um, it's got to have the Damasio strap, because um, you've got it. And, of course, there's this potentially controversial choice of neck. I think most people who know me know that I'm very much an Ibanez guy. Um, I tend to play Ibanez RGs, like this one over here. I've got a few of these. Um, that's very much my go-to instrument. Um, this neck is actually from an Ibanez SA series. So it's a little bit fatter than the wizard necks that I'm used to. Um, but it's still got that really nice, really flat radius. It's a really modern feeling neck. Um, it's possibly a good compromise between the original Telecaster neck and the sort of wizard uh, super fast RG necks. Not that anything I play is super fast, but it's just a really comfortable feel for me. And um, a lot of the questions online were, of course, about these really intriguing looking pickups, which are Seymour Duncan P rails. Um, now, if you're not familiar with the P-Rails, they are um, a really innovative idea, I think. It's essentially a humbucker, but rather than two pickups that are kind of like the same and working as a humbucker, these are two wildly different pickups. You've got this chunk here, and hopefully you can see that, the which looks like a sort of P90, which if you're not familiar with those, it's kind of like a fat single coil. So it's definitely got more kind of meat on the bones than a traditional single coil, but it's not a humbucker. And then it's got this rail, which is like, if you're familiar with sort of hot rails and this, the two rail design stuff that Seymour Duncan can do, it's kind of like one of those. So those two very different pickups make up one humbucker. And where that gets really interesting is with the uh, the possibilities for different sounds and wiring. I have it set up so I can have big fat humbuckers, I've got my three-way selector, and then I can have just the P90 bit, which is down on this switch, and then I can flick up, I've got this switch here, by the way, and, and I can have the rail for a really bright, crisp single coil sound. So I'm just going to play some of my riffs from various Winter of 82 songs and kind of just try and show you what the best of each of the settings and how to kind of get the best sounds out of it. So I'm going to try and play some heavier stuff, some clean stuff, and just give you a kind of 
a sense of just the amount of variety that you can get out of this setup. Okay, so um, I hope that's proved vaguely useful to you. Um, certainly if you're considering buying the P-Rails, I hopefully I've covered some of the really different sounds that you can produce from them. I think they're an absolutely amazing idea. I love stuff that's kind of new and interesting. I'm not really, I'm never gonna buy like a classic reissue of some you know traditional sort of design. Those things are great, of course, but they're not for me. So these P-Rails are just really, really, really cool. Um, and thanks for all the kind words about the bizarre creation. Um, I think we've christened it the Telebanez, that's how it's been referred to online. Um, so yeah, I hope that was kind of interesting. Um, so, it's a big year next year, lots happening, um, lots of big tour dates, so many projects that um, I couldn't possibly tell you about now, I'll get my wrists slapped. Um, but it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so I will see you in the new year.